After installing the add-in, we gain access to the Pi menu. By default, it's bound to the Q key. You can change this in the add-in settings. The Pi menu consists of four blocks, each containing buttons for assigning operators. When you click an Assign Operator button, a window with a selection of operators opens. Let's explore how we can add operators to our add-in. To do this, we can go to Add Mesh Cube, right-click, and you'll see an Add to Custom Lists button. We're then informed that the operator has been added to the list. Now, if we call up the menu and click the Assign button, we'll see the operator we added in the operator list. We click the Bind button, thereby assigning the operator to our button. We exit this window, press the Q key, and click the button with the assigned operator. Let's open the block settings. Here, we can rename our block, set the number of buttons in the block, assign an icon to the block, and choose a color. We also have the option to unlink an operator from a button. We can also rename the button with the operator and assign it an icon. After you've configured the buttons, you can disable the settings icons so they don't clutter the view. To do this, Go to the block settings and uncheck the checkbox displaying these buttons. Let's move on to the add-in settings and examine them in more detail. Here, we have the ability to manage the blocks, enabling, disabling, assigning the number of buttons, assigning icons, as well as assigning the block color. In total, there are approximately 180 operators that you can assign and fit almost all of Blender into this Pi menu, and forget about many hotkeys, even though I always forget them anyway. Let's look at the settings one more time and move to the Operators and Menus tab. Here, we can see several types of lists. This operator list is the one where operators end up when you right-click on an object, and also includes operators we can move from the list of all operators. Currently, the list of all operators is empty, and in order to find all the operators present in your Blender installation, including all your installed add-ins, we need to click the Find All Operators button. My list consists of around 3,500 operators and menus. Let's try to find an operator and add it to the custom list. Let's deal with the situation where we want to call up a menu, not an operator. Let's say we want to call up the Set Origin menu. Blender doesn't offer a way to do this via right-clicking, as we do with operators, but we can do it through the list of all operators that we found earlier. After clicking on Origin Set ID, we call up the menu and then directly call up the operator within it. A great advantage of SwiftPy menu is that you can assign operators from other add-ins to the buttons. I have the Align Pro add-in installed, and let's say I want to call the normal Align function. I can click on it, add it to the custom list, and assign it to a button. Now. When I click the button with the operator, Active Align is activated. There are situations where, when adding an operator, for example the bevel operator located in the sidebar, Blender provides us with its name, but if we assign it to a button, nothing happens. This is due to Blender's internal design and how it provides us with operator names. And if we try to add any operator from this sidebar, they will all have the same name. We can try to find the name of this operator in the list of all operators. Go to Settings and type Bevel in the search box. We see two operators. I don't know exactly which one is the one we need. Add both and test.
let's assume a situation where you can't find an operator in the list of all operators. And for this, we can try to get its name through the Blender standard search window. You must first go to these preferences, go to the Interface tab, and turn on the Developer Extras checkbox. Let's say you want to add a call to the Set Origin menu. So press F3, look for Set Origin, and with the Developer Extras checkbox enabled earlier, see the menu call name. Go to the settings and add our menu through Manual Edition. A more detailed guide on how to add operators manually is described here. Don't worry, I thought of you. In order to avoid a situation in which, when you right-click on an object, we add operators that have the same names and do nothing, we can add them to the blacklist, and subsequently the Add to Custom List button will no longer be displayed on these operators, and these operators will not be able to be added to our list from the list of all operators. The next tab is the Key Map tab where we can simply change our hotkey. After you've configured your Pi menu, assigned operators to it, assign some icons, and are worried that you might lose it, don't worry, you can go to Settings and save a preset. I will delete the add-on, restart Blender. I reinstall the add-on, press the Q key, I see that everything has returned to default. Then I will go to the settings and load the previously saved preset. Thank you for watching this video to the end. I want to say that the add-in is completely free. You can download it by following the link in the description. The best thank you for me will be your comment under this video. Happy modeling in Blender!